Today on the show, we are talking wellness with Dr. Brian Rogers from Body Renew, and we are talking with Brain Rehab Clinic. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why you should wear a helmet when you're skiing. Seems like a no-brainer. All this and more coming at you right here, right now on Talk 365 TV. Here we go. Welcome to the show, everybody. All right, we are going to turn over to Trip because he has big news, big changes. You're the man with all the exciting stuff happening. Snoop Dogg? Well, we are doing a Snoop interview for Al Bernstein Unplugged, the show that I co-host, which is on 11 different networks all through North America and the Caribbean. So Snoop, I'm excited about. But I, I have questions for Snoop. Okay. They all are around Martha Stewart and whether or not they have breakfast together on a regular basis. My sense is no. So this is a funny story. Here's, here's what happened. Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. did an exhibition fight back in November, and Al was supposed to do it, and it was gonna. He was looking forward to it so much, but caught COVID, oh. so he couldn't do it. So Snoop stepped in, and every review of the fight, they didn't mention the fight very much, but they said Snoop's a natural. So Snoop wants to start working. Oh doing boxing. So we're doing an interview with him on the show and I'm excited. And Is he a fan historically? Like has he followed yeah. the sport? So he, he is has. sort of like a surprise attack because he actually knows the sport? He knows it, but he's he called Tyson Jones like two drunk uncles at Thanksgiving and that was nice. perfect. How but, was that fight by the way? I didn't know Tyson was still in fighting form. It was okay. Um, uh -huh. You know, two gentlemen in their 50s fighting. Now Roy it's Jones- It's kind of like watching you play hockey? Uh, put it this way. I mean that with love. <laughs> but I still love it. I say get in the ring, man. Get in the... I say no age discrimination for what you want to do athletically. Go after it. What? Why not? Well, I don't think we should be encouraging 50-year-olds to fight a lot. But anyway, that's... Only in the realm of very elite boxers that would probably be those two right there. And that's what they excel in in life. But... You know, on the side of concussions, which we'll talk about more at that point in your life, maybe you want to protect your head a little more. I don't Protecting know. Protecting your head is a very good thing. And we'll speaking leave that up of to the viewers. speaking of hockey, I'm on a new team, the Sasquatch. Oh my! And Ooh, that we, is an exciting name. <laughs> Sasquatch, Sasqu Sasquatch. I, I like Sasquatch. That so, sounds very exotic. Anyway, we are. It is a fun team. We don't do particularly well um, when it comes to the winning department, but we're having a great time. Right. Yeah. Have you been allowed back? Oh, yes. Ring. Oh, yeah. How and are the joints going? Playing hockey without pain is wonderful. But what I want to get to real quick is at Snowbird this year, we have decided we are going to be the best resort in North America when it comes to people having masks on mm -hmm. and compliance and everyone at Snowbird. And I want to shout out, obviously, my department. The hosts are doing a great job making sure that people are having a wonderful time, safe and happy. But anyway, uh, what's coming up next? All right, coming up next, we are going to be talking wellness. We've got your wellness news you can use in a wellness minute with Dr. Brian Rogers from Body Renew. So stick around. Attention, if you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. For the time of your life, watch Talk 365 TV twice daily on Utah's CW30 or anytime online. Today's wellness news you can use is brought to you by Body Renew. 
and welcome back to Talk 365 TV. Okay, we've got some amazing stuff ahead of us. We do. I mean, things six, seven months from now, the world could be a different place and life is good. Mm -hmm. The challenge, however, is a lot of people out there are not doing particularly well. And mm -hmm. it's not physically as much as just mentally and the lack of things that we got used to. Uh -huh. And people getting together is so important. Oh my goodness. And yep. so I, I talk to a lot of people, and they'll never admit it. Guys will never admit that we're not doing Struggling. well. Struggling, right. But if you're used to being around people, if you're used to a bowling league, not, you know, mm -hmm. hockey in my case, fortunately Olympic Oval doing a great job with masks and everything. But losing that connection to other people is really tough. Community. Yeah, community is so right. important. The, I mean, really, truly, the grassroots small business, the local coffee shop you always went to, the bar you always went to, the restaurant you had dinner at once a week. I mean, it's well, it's hard. It's rough. And, you know, look at it from a church standpoint. If oh. you're used to being around, you know, and it not just in Sunday service, but other nights of the week. Right. You know, if you're, if you're heavily involved with the LDS church, that's two or three days of community that you don't have as much anymore. Or a whole, you're trying to figure out how to navigate back into it, which is been kind of tricky and painful and hard to do, but I, I know we'll do it. In lieu of 2020's perfect vision, I would say 2021, we're going to use that to grow and become faster, better, stronger in this year. And then how to like truly heal. And I think we are going to have an incredible few years of devices and healers and ways of healing come forward, starting with our wellness team. I mean, I got to tell you, we have everything from your regular clinical proven taken to the next level, which is Dr. Brian Rogers from Body Renew with blood work and all of the stuff that he pursues with the body and figuring out exactly what's going on at that level, all the way swinging to quantum level healing. I'm not joking. I have a piece of equipment that we have been working with that comes right here out of Utah. It is amazing. It is NASA technology. It is something that they've been working with since the 70s and the 80s. It's like mind-blowing where we're going, and I'm so excited to be part of the ride. Anytime you use the term quantum right. in something, it makes it sound better and smarter. Oh, so cool, right? I mean, it just, I don't know what it means, but it sounds good. Right. So we have a piece of equipment that is called the AO scan. You can look that up. But what it does is it sends out a frequency. There is, they've studied hundreds of thousands of like, let's say, kidneys or every organ in your body. This is basically Tesla and Einstein technology, by the way. They've studied what it is that is a healthy human, at what tone for every organ, every everything. And then when you send that tone or when that person hears that tone at an energetic frequency level, your body just matches up and like levels out. So proven, go prove me wrong. I invite you to because it's so much fun to go study this. Wait, 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 so, wait, wait, wait. Why did I have to have a new shoulder, knee, and hip? Well, there's some things that that's where Dr. Brian Rogers and the people at Tosh come in because when you're at a certain point, man, okay, sometimes I, you just have to go get it done. And I think there's like a part with healing too that comes down to mental acceptance. So like if you're a really negative, harsh person and you just had amazing surgery, you could come out of it with negative results. Lots of people do. I think it's all about mindset. And at the end of the day, it's really about finding that thing that your brain is ready to like go, okay, this is the thing I'm ready to heal with. Well, you know, what's funny is um, acupuncture with a lot of yeah. people for whatever reason, and I'm kind of a cynic by nature, but I had acupuncture once and it worked great. And, right. Yeah, you know, and I wasn't prepared for it to work great. And But I think your mental attitude going in as a whole. Yeah. I just love where we are at moving forward with our knowledge and especially with our team moving into 2021. It's super exciting. Starting with Dr. Brian Rogers from Body Renew, who is offering a special on his bioidentical hormone pellet therapy. If you mention us, you get 50% off. Watch all of his content. Go to his website because it is amazing. It was a game changer for me, but I'll let him tell you more about it. Here you go. Talk 365 TV's Wellness Minute is brought to you by Body Renew with wellness team expert, Dr. Brian Rogers. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Rogers, medical director at Body Renew, here with your Talk 365 TV Wellness Minute. Do you have problems with brain fog where you can't find your car keys or your phone or you don't remember where you're parked? You can't remember your kids' names or your other people's names? Or you can't lose fat, you can't gain muscle? Maybe problems with sexual function or desire. Or maybe you have problems with insomnia. Do you have problems with anxiety, depression, stress, lack of motivation, sometimes fatigue? 
If you have these types of problems, you may have a hormone imbalance. At Body Renew, we look at thyroid, we look at sex hormones. We'll also look at your health history and see what's going on to see how we can best balance your hormones. And if you call now and mention Talk 365 TV, then you can get 50% off your hormone consult. Hope to see you soon. I look forward to meeting you. Are you between the ages of 50 and 75? If so, does your auto insurance payment reflect that you drive less now than you did 20 years ago? Industry analysts recommend that seniors check for better auto insurance rates every year until the age of 75. When was the last time you checked for a lower rate? With one call, the Senior Auto Insurance Helpline will help you shop several large A-rated auto insurers for the cheapest rates and the best coverage with plans as low as $9 a week. With 24-7 claims and customer service, they'll always be there when you need them. Best of all, getting a free quote will not cause your current rate to increase. Now is the time to pick up the phone and find out how much you could be saving. Will you qualify for a lower insurance rate for as little as $9 a week? Get a free quote now. Call 1-800-240-2202. That's 1-800-240-2202. Talk 365 TV's Talking Wellness is brought to you by Brain Rehab Clinic. And welcome back to the show. Head injuries we're learning so much about. And one of the things that Snowbird has done really well is last year they required all employees to wear helmets because mm. it's a, a great, great uh, method or message, I should say, to send everyone who's skiing. And mm -hmm. Michael Schumacher was one of the greatest athletes of his generation, a Formula One driver from Germany hurt himself 10 years ago skiing, roughly was wearing a helmet, and no one knows what's happening. He's been in isolation wow. since. And so I love it when you see kid, little kids out there riding their bikes wearing a helmet. Right. It just, it makes sense. And, you know, we did a lot of things when we were younger that, you know, Doesn't we, we did fine. Sense. I think your generation to my generation, we sort of, I was the early on of just like, well, you'll make it. Yeah. And to the part where it's like the helicopter parents. <laughs> exactly. They're, but... And you know what's interesting is soccer, which is the big kids game now, yeah. they are probably going to take away headers from the sport. They probably should. And so we are realizing how important the brain is. And getting back to the last night, quantum, mm -hmm. on Star Trek, when they go and they have a little thing and, doop, doop, and fix everything, mm -hmm. do you think we're going to get to that level? Oh, I think we're already there. I think we just have to like, you know, pay the people who know the science to get it done. Wow. But with that, so we had a chance to chat with Char. She is a patient of Dr. Hatches from Brain Rehab Clinic. Now, she has five overachieving, in the most positive way I can say that, highly excelling children in sports and academics. We're talking 4-0 kids. We're talking the kids that, like, super, super excel that you would think you'd never have to worry about struggling quietly with depression and anxiety because they're so aggressive on the field. They all had head injuries. So she had run the paces with doctors from all over the planet trying to find help for kids. Found Brain Rehab Clinic was able to find help, but you'll fall in love with her as she tells you her story of each of her children. It's amazing. And also, if you need anything, be sure and check out Brain Rehab Clinic because they'll have some fixes for you, I promise. My name is Charmin Grimmer and I am the mother of five children. All five of my children are athletes and in order for them to play sports in high school and junior high, I have to go on and register them on Register My Athlete. And I have to read all of this information about concussions and I have to sign saying I understand what a concussion is, what the symptoms are, everything from vomiting to dizziness to headache to sleeping too much to not being able to sleep at all. Just all of these different symptoms that a concussion can be. Four of my five children have sustained concussions. Um, two of them have sustained severe concussions. And it was my eldest daughter, Emmeline, sustaining such a serious concussion that it affected her language center of her brain. And she was not able to speak in complete sentences, had a hard time with word retrieval. 
and had all of the other symptoms of a severe concussion. And that was terrifying as a parent. We looked at many different clinics in the area, many different doctors. So through the help of a friend who was a current patient of Dr. Hatch's that began our journey in association with Dr. Hatch. As we met with him on our first meeting, he was able to assess where she was and what the damage was and which area of the brain the damage was through a variety of testing, through the eye testing, through the balance testing. And that was so comforting as a parent to see on paper the explanation of where her brain was and why she was having these particular symptoms. We can see improvements, we can see regressions, and then Dr. Hatch is able to make the great recommendations based upon those tests. And so Emmeline was able to get very specific brain exercises and treatments that she was able to do. Some she did in the clinic, but most she did at home. And she was able to do intense treatment over those first four weeks after her brain injury. And we were able to see remarkable differences. She was dropped out of school for about a month, she wasn't able to go to school. And then at that time, she was only able to go to school part-time for the rest of her senior year. So it was very impactful. I'll never forget the day when Dr. Hatch looked at her and said, Emmeline, you have healed from your concussion. Her tests showed that her balance was right on, that her eyes were tracking correctly and dilating correctly, and that her reflexes were right where they needed to be and it was exciting. And we could definitely tell that she was able to do better in school, her energy level increased. He then looked at her and said, this is what I've been waiting for, for you to heal from your concussion so that we can tackle what you have battled your entire life, which is your anxiety. Um, our oldest daughter has suffered from debilitating anxiety and depression really from a very young age. So then Dr. Hatch was able to turn his knowledge, his expertise, to her anxiety and through the exact same types of tests he was able to look at other areas of her brain to see where things were not firing correctly and through similar but different exercises that she is able to do in the comfort of our home or in her apartment she's now in college she now has learned from Dr. Hatch many self-care techniques and um, to help with her memory when she's about to take those midterms or those finals, um, or when she's transitioning, because transitions can be hard, and in a young adult's life, there are a lot of transitions. She has had a remarkable improvement. In fact, we've been so excited because she is not taking as many prescription medications, and she has been taking some of these uh, medications for a very long time, and um, in order to help her function and be the best that she can be. She is a highly functional young adult. You would not know um, visiting with her or seeing her in a college setting that she has had um, these struggles with depression and anxiety. So as we were going through this with our oldest daughter, all of a sudden as a mom, I kind of checked out and I realized our second daughter, who we knew had sustained three concussions in very quick succession, I knew she had not fully healed from these concussions. I immediately called Christine and said, we need to get our second daughter in. And then we realized through testing that yes, in fact, she had not fully healed from those three concussions. And Dr. Hatch was then able to start working with her. And interestingly enough, they had both sustained concussions, but they were different areas of their brain were damaged. And so they were able to do individualized exercises, which again, helped us feel confident in the treatment that they were being given. So I've had two of my other five children sustain concussions. One, my youngest son sustained a concussion playing football and soccer, having a, a goalpost land on his head. Again, not horrific like my oldest daughter, but still enough symptoms that we were concerned. And then my oldest son, George, sustained two concussions with soccer, and he also did falling off of a tube while we were at Lake Powell. So those were pretty mild, but I really do feel like if we hadn't gotten my son in right away, they, the symptoms would have grown and gotten worse. And so while they were mild, I feel that is because we know what to look 
for now in brain health. And we knew immediately that he had had a concussion and we were immediately able to get him in. One thing I'll share about George has Tourette's syndrome and it was diagnosed back in third grade. And his first tics were full body tics. They looked like seizures. And we worked with an amazing child psychiatrist up in Salt Lake. We had been working with her for a couple of years because he had already had some sleep issues and some mood regulation issues. And so we knew something was going on for George, um, but we didn't know that it was Tourette's and this is all linked together. So through working with Dr. Hatch, uh, we have been able to minimize George's tics. And here he is in the middle of puberty and that exacerbates tics and causes tics to really come out. He has had everything from full body tics where his whole body shakes to eye tics, to face tics, to humming tics, to making noises in the back of his throat tics, um, to pulling his face. Those are the main tics that we've seen. His tic cycle, which is not uncommon for Tourette's, and it is very important for us to stay current with Dr. Hatch so that we know which exercises George should do based on how his brain is doing and what tics are presenting. We have been able to get George off of all medication, all prescription medication, and have been able to address it just through the exercises. Along with his Tourette's often comes with misophonia. And I actually have two children, one with Tourette's who has misophonia and one who has ADHD and she has misophonia as well. And misophonia is when they are very sensitive to sound. So if we're driving in the car and a brother is tapping a straw on his fingers or making a clicking sound or chewing on something, my son with Tourette's with misophonia just can't handle it. It just throws him over the edge. We've done everything from trying to get noise canceling headphones that he can wear um, to help calm him down. But that is our most recent area that we're working with Dr. Hatch on because Dr. Hatch is one of the leading experts in the country on misophonia. And he's the one that even helped me identify what these two children have. Because we just thought that they had sensory integration disorder and that they were super sensitive auditorily. And come to find out that there is a name for that. It's called misophonia. And so that is something that we are currently working with Dr. Hatch for our family. I also want to say a little bit about mood moods can be greatly altered and you don't always link it to the hit to the head but it can come up a week later a month later not every concussion will have every symptom so it's just so important anytime you take a jar or a fall or a hit to the head that you come get checked out even if you think oh they're fine oh he seems fine she seems fine i just had um, my mother she's a 67 year old woman she's also a patient here at the brain rehab and she has neuropathy in her feet and she just took in the fall two horrific falls and had two major concussions she felt at first that she was fine but then she said to me as the weeks went on as the months went on the fog just got greater and she realized that yes it was indeed because of her concussion. So my message to families, to parents, both professionally, but as a mother who has five children who have all had various needs in the mental health field, but also just in health and well-being neurologically, is that it's tricky to always know, um, is this from a condition? Is this from a concussion? Or is this bad judgment just because they're teenagers? <laughs> And I have really appreciated Dr. Hatch helping us kind of separate out what is normal behavior for a teenager and this is normal development and this is from a condition like a concussion. So I truly um, send the message to families, if you are still searching, come try. I think you will find what you're looking for at the Brain Rehab if any of this resonates with you. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome back to the biggest auto protection show on earth, brought to you by CarShield. If your car is out of warranty or close to expiring, you could get stuck paying thousands for an engine, transmission, or computer system breakdown. But when you have CarShield, you'll never pay for covered repairs again. CarShield makes sure you don't have to pay for expensive car repairs, and that's why I'm a CarShield customer. Call 800-970-1872.
Talk 365 TV is proud to announce their new studio home, Ignite Studios, for all your video needs. And very interesting to hear that story. It, one of the couple thoughts on sports, and if or extracurriculars in particular, if you uh, are a member of a sports team, do any extracurriculars in high school, you have about a 93 to 97% chance of graduating. So whatever kids do extra on top of going to school is great. And right. in Utah, we have a high graduation rate anyway, but still it's the people that don't that fall through the cracks. So when it comes to sports, we are getting so much better in terms of coaching and protective equipment. My, uh, one of my physicians um, is allowing his son to play high school football, and he's getting a lot of flack from other physicians in his practice because uh -huh. they feel that it's dangerous and that sort of thing. But he's really balanced the risks and rewards and feels that it's more important for his son to get all the benefits from sports. Was he a football player growing up? He was not, oh, ironically. Oh, interesting. What yeah. did he do? Was he sports at all? or? I don't know, to tell you the truth. But huh. he knew that I was involved with sports, and we talked about it. And it's kind of a cool story because, um, you know, football is still revered in this country. You know, when it comes from... Everywhere. Yeah. I mean, a little different version on a theme with it, but the whole schematics of a team sport and get behind your team. and Oh, sure. And individ I used to laugh, my buddy Mikey, who you've met, uh -huh. his kids were swimmers. And I go, you've got it so easy. You show up at a, take them to a pool with... They get a bath. Yeah. Well, they get a bath, but a bathing suit and a towel is not, you know, full hockey equipment or football equipment. Right. But he had to get up at four in the morning to take them to swim. So that's another story. But... The challenge is, is that people are pushing away from sports now, and I mm. think it's still really important. And if that's part of your life, great. If band is part of your life, right. debate, anything else, yeah. ballet. Get involved. Well, so Savannah, Andy's oldest, this was her first year of high school, so it has definitely proven to be interesting. And they had their band performance, which was entirely online. Shout out to the Woods Cross Band. But the part for me that really drove at home was their Christmas concert. They had in between while they were setting up, because this was all online, they had done a video of people telling you what is it what is it like to be in band. And so, I mean, it just made you cry because each of these kids talking about how much it meant to them to be able to meet people and do what they love, it just, it's so important, basically. Well, and think about, because down at our studio, we Thorpe has built this rehearsal studio next door and they're shooting videos and stuff in there. Think about all the musicians. Yeah. And so people are really missing out on things. But it's amazing that people can get online and do... A lot. It's shocking. I feel like it's worse on the busy scale because you really are able to just cram your day. Whereas before, you'd sort of be like, well, I got to plan half a day because I got to drive. I got to get there. And there, there's the, you know, I might have to get gas or traffic. It's like now you literally can just be like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. so I think it's almost more intense. It's my life. Hey, thanks for watching. When are we going to see you again? Oh, tomorrow morning. Yeah, every morning right here on CW30 and in the evening if you're up, catch us at 1 a.m. so you can bookend your day or anytime online, Top 365 TV, 24-7, 365. Trip, thank you. And thank you. We'll see you tomorrow.